Welcome at forexcstrading.com. Today is 14th February 2011. Let's discuss the uh, example of the trade at Euro, Euro dollar currency pair. Uh, I was discussing today in the morning in video daily analysis that at 4 hour chart we are experiencing some downtrend movement and seem to me like it is a um, risky kind of behavior because the uh, first part of the wave um, the second part of the wave was almost um, uh, closing up to the uh, same length of the first one. So we are talking about the classic A, B, C, D correction wave, and um, uh, talking about Elliott waves. So uh, it is logic that the uh, first part of the move is a little bit longer usually than the uh, second part of the move when the informed and dump money enter the market um, right after the uh, smart money enter the market somewhere around here. So uh, that's uh, that's few words about the risk. So um, the uh, moment I was speaking about in daily analysis was uh, somewhere around here when the market already made a 90 pip downwards movement. So that's what we are talking about somewhere around here I was talking also that uh, we might see something some beautiful behavior like market coming back to the support resistance at 30 minute chart and coming back accelerating to the downside again that didn't happen because we had so much sellers at the market that the uh, when the uh, price stopped out for a few moments or um, uh, an hour or two uh, the price came back to the upside but but uh, it did uh, this behavior in 15 25 pips so the uh, retracement the uh, breath was uh, very much short it was telling us that we have no buyers at the market and the sellers are particularly strong at this point so looking at one minute chart if somebody likes this kind of chart I'm talking about the experienced uh, traders. Now, this behavior was already seen at just uh, half an hour after London opening when we see uh, this little breath of 15 pips and the market turned to the downside again. We could enter the market um, uh, based on this behavior that buyers couldn't uh, really push the prices higher. If you didn't make it, no worries, the, the price came back a little bit higher and accelerated to the downside again. So we could enter the market right here again and it happened also again. Remember that uh, more times it happens, less, uh, I mean, worse probability we have to hit some lower and lower levels. I mean, to gain at this um, uh, sale uh, transaction. So we are talking about short uh, position uh, right here and we see at 30 minute chart that this part of the move it's not accelerating a uh, downtrend it's systematic movement systematic movement is so different from the acceleration that it might be finished any time like it's it's maybe happening right now that the uh, price stopped out and turned back aggressively to some higher levels so let let's get back at this clean 30 minute chart to show you uh, what I'm talking about. So we could enter the market either way somewhere around here or some next um, uh, nice market behavior and you can uh, see it also in my other uh, video analysis that this is a classic pattern when the market uh, came down came back a little bit for a few moments took a breath and started to go short again so it's a beautiful chance to catch few pips or sometimes a hundred pips during the day during the uh, downside movement. Today I've also mentioned a big risk of this transaction because we could see the uh, uh, breakout point here and uh, we could see market turning back to the upside as I mentioned at four hour chart that uh, the uh, wave this wave might be shorter than this first one so let's take a look at 30 minute chart again and the market showed us it's not really accelerating it's moving systematically so we can see the sellers are up to finish so this is kind of 
usually this is kind of a dumb money or informed money behavior that might be finished anytime soon. So we have to know this particular risk that uh, the price may be stopped out at some point. So let's take a zoom in. So coming in at the market somewhere around here, we uh, take few pips profit and unfortunately first profit should be uh, just right here when the market um, uh, started to move higher just above this uh, candle you see I've marked this rectangle as the uh, price might be consolidating somewhere around here or uh, we must um, also know that um, we can see some aggressive movement anytime uh, see some shadow and the price won't come back at those levels again during this day only will move higher and higher so please uh, keep notice that uh, if market will uh, stop you out I mean at break even point if you move your stop loss from let's mark the uh, stop losses coming to the market here the stop loss should be above this beautiful shadowed candle so if the uh, market will uh, go so high as we enter the market the stop loss is already at break-even point so it stop out our transaction and that's what uh, will probably uh, happening um, in a few minutes because we see uh, the uh, price catching up with dynamics so we can go either way to the upside or accelerate to the downside so we'll see about that the first profit is all already locked uh, when the uh, price moved just above this candle. So that's the uh, uh, classic example of the trade when market hits some lows and don't have enough strength to uh, go uh, come back to some higher levels. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you see some more uh, interesting example of trades I mean live trades and training account trades. You see here at 4 hour chart um, that the uh, shadow occurred. So if the price will go above this 4 hour uh, chart candle, we're going to see a beautiful comeback to some higher euro dollar levels as this uh, shadow will tell us it's a fake breakout to some lower levels. From this level I've entered the market. Thank you very much for listening. Hope you have a good uh, week of trading. Thank you.